one. So here we are uh, currently in the Northern Hemisphere. We're at the turn of the wheel from summer solstice into Lamas, the first harvest, the very beginning of August. And I want to invite you to the seasonal ritual immersion series. Um, you know, this is a series of eight, but we're moving into the particular immersion that's related to Lamas. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about that and also invite you, whether or not you join for that, invite you into um, what I think is a really important awareness to hold during this particular turn of the wheel. So in brief, the ritual immersion series, you can see all the information about it below. In this, for Lamas, First harvest, we're going to be working to restore alliance with the faith that restores. So in this, this is a time of fruition, coming into ripening, right? And whether or not you think that's what's happening in your life or not, there will be something ripening, right? It, you might be in a time where things do feel really full. You might be in a time where everything seems kind of fallow and hidden and under, under the surface. But what we're gonna work with uh, in, lo in this ritual immersion is coming close to fruition, the promise of fruition, you know, in the full cycle, right? This is the promise. The promise is that through all the cycle, through the fallow, through the laying to rest, the fallow, through the first light, through, through all of this, we will come to fruition, right? There will be bounty. We may not always have chosen it. It might be different than what we expected, but there will be a harvest. And I guess already I'm going into what I'm inviting you into, whether or not you join me. I mean, we're going to, this is what we're going to be working with, our, is kind of really understanding how to absorb, how to really harvest the fruition of life, both from its gifts and from, from its hardships. We're going to be working with... Um, really understanding the, the, the mercy and the salvation that's in that. You know, when we rejoin in this, in this seasonal ritual immersion series, we're rejoining with the bigger cycles of things, right? And in this moment, for me, there's, it's very much like there's a promise coming to the surface. We're receiving the promise of sustenance, of nourishment, of all those things that ripen both in obvious ways and inside of the husks the harsh kind of hard husks of our lives. So we're going to be working with the actual kind of subtle attunement of your body and your being to be able to receive and absorb the harvest, to see where it is, right? We've just moved out of summer solstice and during summer solstice at the heights of things, what we were doing is really kind of paying attention to allowing empty excess to fall away. Right, and what we're going to be doing now with coming into fruition is recognizing that when we allow all these empty excesses to go, all the empty consumption, all the things that no longer even really nourish us, all of the just all the excess, all the too much, then we find the few things that have actually ripened to their fullness, and we drink deep, we eat of them, we taste of the fruits of life, of our lives. So it's, be very, um, it's a time of very personal, um, it's very personal kind of inventory and a very personal receiving from what, you know, what have you walked through? And in that, what has been cultivated? What has been growing? Possibly, often, without your conscious awareness. In this seasonal ritual immersion series, we're going to be working with, um, we always work with the ritual art. The ritual art this time is going to be sacrament. So the, the tasting, the, the tasting of the blessed fruit. Um, and then we're going to be, in terms of practices in this, what we're going to be working with is the practice of communion, meaning entering into communion with kind of the soul of the world. Right, so that you can, there's a state of communion. And in that state, that's how we actually receive the subtle nectars of life. Right, that's how we actually receive kind of what our psyche, what our soul has been crafting and growing for us. Past all the story, past all the rigidity, past everything that, um, everything else that we often hold or find ourselves in. This time too, we're actually gonna also be working with, I realized, um, ovarian cultivation. 
So both of these are practices that are in her mystery school, and that's part of what we do in the series. We work with, we take practices from the school and kind of go deeper into them. Um, we're going to be working with ovarian cultivation. So we're going to be working to actually restore. This is a restorative time, a uh, nourishing time. So we're going to be working to restore your deep feminine fire. Really tend to and restore and listen deeply to what is going to nourish your creativity, your true spark, your deep essential spark at this time. Right, what's true right now and where are and we'll, we'll do a little looking how are you doing for instance I just <laughs> I've been working with this practice and I had to really see that I had I had completely depleted my creative resources right so we want to take a look and see where we are in relationship to fruition where we are in relationship to absorption to nourishment and to faith right part of what we're going to be doing in this series and if you don't join I do welcome you to do this regardless just suspend, <laughs> suspend everything else for a moment and, and, and just ask the question, if I had faith that there was something, something that has been being, that has been coming into fruition, that's been ripening on the vine, right? As I've been going through whatever hardship, whatever loss, whatever challenge, whatever, whatever opportunity, like what is that, right? Because we're going to look towards that. The, the, the inner garden, right? That which is often unseen. And you know, the thing about fruition is that it's not just like you, you don't just observe it, you taste it. It's really important that we taste, we ingest, and we digest and integrate what it is that we've actually been, in, in our deep being, what we've been ripening into. We bring it to consciousness. And we cycle it back into ourselves so that it amplifies and so that it does actually nourish us for the coming cycles, right? Because guess what's coming? We're going to go through into equinox, you know, the second harvest. Then we're going to head towards the laying to rest and the fallow. So we want to, we want to really fill the deep well during this time, all the deep wells. So I welcome you to join me for this, join us for this. It's been super sweet. Um, and in general, I just... Welcome you to um, remember that fruition is sometimes on the outside, and a lot of times it's on the it's it's underneath of a husk. You know, you think of corn growing on the stalk, right? There's a husk around what's growing. You think of like maybe you could think of almonds or other sweet things that grow inside of a hard shell. It is not necessarily at all true that your fruition and your harvest and what's been ripening on your vine is going to be immediately obvious to you, right? So these places where you feel there's like a husk or you can sense that you don't really understand what's been ripening there. Why? What really, what, what have I actually been becoming? What am I, what is being given here? I don't understand, you know, this, that's, that, this is a time for letting Letting the turn of the wheel and the season support you in this movement of receiving the abundance, right? Receiving, receiving abundance as a birthright, as a kind of, mm, as, as a sacred need. You know, the sacred need here is abundance. We must have an abundance of space, time. <laughs> there are certain there are certain ways in which abundance is obviously not at all just about money it's not at all about that level of prosperity abundance has to do with more than enough right so i take this much space but i actually if i had this much i could actually relax oh i take this much time to you know sort this thing out or to, to take care of myself or to really consider this or to pray or whatever but if i had this, if I stretched it out this far, what could actually unfurl, right? So we're going to be really moving into abundance in that way. So we're not kind of, we're not so much in this, what you might call prosperity consciousness. We're, we're really going into this um, abundance as enough and a little bit more. It's, it's the way that things ripen. If you look at nature, she is a profusion. 
when is her time to ripen and to fruit? She's a profusion. There is always enough and more than enough. There's a natural sacred law in there and we are going to draw close to it. Anyway, that's enough for now probably. I'd love to see you on Lamas. If not, happy Lamas to you. Happy first harvest. Happy turn of the wheel and uh, blessings of the mother to you. <laughs>